this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly how I guarantee 4X return on investment for all of my SMA clients. This is exactly the same framework that I've used, taking my agency from zero, to now seven figures, right? We all know how important it is to, and maybe for yourself, if you are a new agency owner, you know, one of the first things that you struggle with is getting a new client, right? Getting your first clients, getting your first one, two, three, four clients, whatever, and being able to scale it to 10K a month, right? But as you start to get your clients and maybe you are already an agency owner, you got a little bit of experience under your belt, you'll realize that a lot of agency owners out there, and for those of you that haven't really gotten to this level yet, some of these agency owners are stuck at three to five clients, right? And you might say that sounds great and all, but you know, you don't want to be stuck anywhere in your business. In order for you to scale and grow your business to, you know, 10K a month, 20K a month, or whatever your goal is, you need to learn how to retain your clients, right? And retaining your clients is actually more important than getting a new client, right? So if you're a new agency owner, you don't have any clients yet, obviously the only thing that you're thinking about is how can I get my first client? That's the first obstacle. You know, three to five clients in, your next obstacle is how can I start are keeping these existing clients while bringing in new clients, okay? And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how I guarantee all my clients 4X results and how I've been able to retain my very first, the very first client that has ever signed with me back in April of 2019 is still a client with me today of 2023. So let's go ahead and jump into the whiteboard. Alrighty guys. So here we are in the whiteboard and this is how we are going to how to guarantee 4X return on investment for SMA clients. Okay. All right guys. So the first thing that we want to do when we are speaking to clients before we even fulfill the service, we need to set the expectations, okay? And I think this is where a lot of agency owners go wrong. Okay? You promise them the world, you promise them that they're gonna get, you know, 30 new personal injury cases or 20 new clients, 20 new patients, and it's just not a good way to do it, okay? Yes, you want them to see the vision, you want them to believe in your service, you want them to believe you know in your past case studies your success stories but you need to set the expectations just because that you maybe crushed it to for one client you know where you generated a client an extra you know fifty thousand hundred thousand million dollars in revenue or whatever doesn't mean that this client is still going to get the same results okay you want to be very transparent there just because you are sharing new uh, prospects they need to understand that obviously results are going to fluctuate and sometimes it may not be on your end maybe it might be on the client's end right maybe they're not answering picking up the phone and answering your leads that you generate for them maybe they're not good they don't have a good sales system a follow-up system right so you need to set the expectations okay what we like to do is we like to just be transparent okay that's number one just being transparent and letting them know what to expect okay you're going to you know you can see this amount of phone calls anywhere between 15 to 30 based off of your budget that you're telling me that's how many leads we could be able to estimate for you, right? So we need to be transparent exactly how the system works, how many leads, you know, about they're going to generate the quality of those leads, right? Not every single lead that we send you is going to be good. Okay. Not every single phone call that we send to you is going to be good. Not all of them is going to turn into customers, patients, whatever. So we need to be transparent. The next thing is we want to under promise and over deliver. So for example, guys, a way that I do this is I'll tell the client, hey, it takes us about a week to set up the campaign. After we set up the campaign, it will take about, you know, 48 hours before Google ads will start showing. Now in reality, it really only takes us about three days to build the campaign, right? Depending on how big their campaign is and things like that, it takes about three days, maybe five business days, okay? Uh, but overall, generally it takes us, you know, fairly quickly if it's a campaign that we've already built in the past for our clients. When we tell our client, that it takes us about a week. Essentially, we're buying time, okay? And anything that we'd get sooner, great. But let's say we're backed up a little bit and we do finish it within a week, it's still okay. Okay, so when we say that we tell, for example, I tell my client, hey, it takes us about a week to build your campaign and we get it within three business days. Hey, we're actually already done building your campaign. That's speed, okay? And that's something that clients really like. Um, and so when they 
they see that they're like, oh, wow, they work really quickly. Okay. So that's a little mini win. That's an over deliver. Next example is that, you know, Google ads may take about 48 hours to, for your ads to actually start showing. Now that is another way for us to buy time. In reality, when the campaign goes live, Google does take up to 48 hours to approve all your ads, but most of the time it's usually approved right away, unless you're in like a weird niche and you're advertising something that needs a little bit more time to be reviewed by the Google team, right? But essentially most of the time it's being ran right away. And so a lot of times our clients will start seeing phone calls that we generate for them on the same day that we tell them that we're going live. So even though we tell them, Hey, it might take two days for your ads to show, they start seeing phone calls come in right away. And that's a thing that clients really like results, speed of results. Okay. When they're paying for something, they like to see speed. They like to see that execution, that vision thing, that the result that you're selling them on, they want to see it quickly, right? And that's how you're able to charge. You know, that's how you're able to charge that $1,500, $2,500 a month compared to someone who's charging maybe $500, uh, maybe a little bit under charge. So that's under promise and over deliver. The next thing that you want to do is you want to have extremely quick communications. Okay. This is so important guys, you know, and that's really the difference between big marketing companies and for example, my boutique marketing company. Okay. I know my company, my marketing company now we're doing like seven figures. Uh, it's a seven figure agency, but you know, there's our marketing companies out there that do a lot bigger and maybe you're nowhere near that. Okay. And maybe you just, you know, trying to do your first five, $10,000 a month, whatever, as my marketing agency, my communications was extremely, extremely quick. All right. Most marketing companies might take one business day, a few hours. If you are a boutique marketing company and you have less than 10 clients, you should be able to answer every single client's email concern question. I remember I would get inquiries, email questions at like 11 o'clock PM, and I would still get back to them. That was something that really set my agency apart from a lot of other marketing agency owners. Okay. I'm telling you guys this right here, implement it for yourself. Okay. So that's the expectations. Now, how do we guarantee 4x return on investment for the SMA clients? Okay. But with you guys, because the back end is just important as the simple as the, the systems that I'm about to share with you guys. All right. So make sure you have this, you know, in your agency. So we're going to move it up there. Okay. So how do I guarantee results? Okay. This is the most important thing, right? And like I said, getting clients is great is important. I get it. We need clients to get paid. Right. But more importantly, we need to keep those clients for as long as possible. So the first thing that I do is before anything, there's a battle between Google ads versus Facebook ads. Okay. Which platform do we use to generate leads for our clients? Obviously both platforms are going to be used for two separate reasoning uh, and things like that. Right? Some niches are going to be better for Google. Some niches are going to be better for Facebook. Okay. That's uh, hands down. Okay. So depending on where your niche is, then one platform may be a little bit better for that niche. But for my Google ads agency, we generate leads specifically for local service based businesses. Okay. And the reason why I chose to do local service based businesses is because there are constantly businesses everywhere, local service based businesses who are looking to generate more revenue, generate more customers, more clients, and they're constantly looking for new ways and new methods to grow their business, getting new customers. And so that is why I chose to work with local service businesses. On top of that, you get to develop relationships with these business owners, right? So it's a B2B type of relationship. And when you develop a relationship with another business owner and assuming that you get them awesome results, that is why they stay with you for a very long time. Okay. That is how I've been able to retain my clients for three years, three and a half years now. Now, if you are going to go the local service business route like myself, and I think it's a very lucrative way to grow your agency, by the way, I would go with the Google Google ads. Okay. Google ads is hands down the best platform when it comes to generating high quality leads for local service based businesses compared to Facebook ads. Okay. And I'll tell you a quick little story. I started running Facebook ads because that's what everyone was doing. Right. I took a social media marketing agency course. I learned how to run Facebook ads. I get it. You get a chiropractor. He tells you that he only wants to target five mile radius. Here are the type of people, the age, the gender, Here's what their interests are. And you just plug it into the Facebook ads and you generate those exact leads for your client. Right. And when I first started, I ran Facebook ads for a chiropractor that had signed for me. I actually offered him a free trial, whatever, but however, the lead quality just sucked. Okay. And 
that is what I realized. Look for a chiropractor, for a lawyer, for a painting business, for an electrician, uh, for a physical therapist, right? They're, they're not looking for these businesses. People go on Facebook to maybe check out what their friends are doing for entertainment, we really, right? But they're not really looking to hire somebody. If someone is looking for on Google ads, let's say for example, like for myself, I brand ads for lawyers, okay? Let's say it's a criminal defense lawyer. I don't know anything about criminal defense law. I don't know anything about the law, but what I do know is that if someone goes to Google and searches up criminal defense lawyer near me, DUI lawyer near me, they are essentially a red hot lead. Okay, because they're actively seeking for a criminal defense lawyer. They're putting themselves out there and looking for that specific service. They're not going to Facebook and searching, you know, criminal defense lawyer near me. It's just going to pop up some groups or, and whatnot. But if you're going on Google ads to look for it, then you are actively seeking that service or product, right? If you think about it, you know, if you are looking to buy something or you're looking to search for something, a service, you probably most likely go to Google. Okay, you're not going to go to Facebook ads. When I made that switch, from Facebook to Google, that was exactly how I started generating high quality leads, okay? So local service-based businesses, that is the route, that is the way to go because there's businesses constantly looking for new customers and as they grow, you grow. So local service-based businesses when it comes to for Google ads. If it's more product related, or maybe if you're trying to run like a retargeting campaign where, you know, people who land on your website, your landing page or whatever, you want to show your ad again for cheap. But overall, Google ads, high quality versus Facebook ads, low quality. And for that exact reason, people are going to Google to search, whereas you're not going to Facebook to search for those things. So you're going to get premium leads from Google. And that is a selling point in itself. When you are selling Google ads as a service, you can say, hey, we generate premium leads. I know you might have tried Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, uh, TikTok ads in the past, but those leads are less likely to turn into customers for your business, right? Over here, we generate premium phone calls. People who actually call you instead of you having to chase after leads because Facebook ads, uh, TikTok ads, uh, and whatever else is mainly people who fill out a form and that form gets sent to the business owner. And then the business owner has to then chase down the lead, the lead doesn't pick up the phone and it's just not a great experience. And so that's why you're able to charge more premium experience, okay? Premium experience, premium feel, you'll be able to charge more for your services. Right there, guys. Local service-based business, premium leads for, from Google, and you'll be able to charge more for services. Businesses are constantly looking for ways to generate more customers, patients, etc. All right, so Google Ads. Now, you might be thinking, you know, Jordan, I get it, Google Ads, awesome. Isn't it too saturated? There aren't there a lot of people running Google Ads or can't you, can't business owners just run Google Ads themselves, right? I'm just starting out. And look guys, I was in the same position, okay? When I first started at zero and switching from Facebook out of Google Ads, I had no idea what I was doing. I've never ran Google Ads. I didn't go to school for marketing or business. I graduated college to become a doctor, right? So this was something that was just completely 180 from me, okay? and these other big marketing companies out there who actually know what they're doing. What I found is that most businesses who run Google ads, they're missing this one thing, maybe two things, and we're gonna go over it with you guys in this video, okay? And then one of the things that they're missing is this, a high converting landing page. And this right here, guys. Now, the next thing is a high converting landing page. And when I first started out, I'm like, you know what? There are so many competitors. There are so many people running Google ads, but why am I, getting better results because a lot of these clients that began working with me in my in the beginning you know they obviously they ran google ads in the past okay google ads is nothing new they either ran google ads themselves or they hired other marketing companies to run their google ads but for whatever reason and they would complain this to me right hey you know when they start working with me and they i start getting them start getting the results they're like wow we're already getting phone calls on the very first day with our other marketing company, we never even seen a phone call. We spent X amount of dollars and we saw nothing. And so I was realized, I was thinking, I was like, why is it that I'm getting better results? And you know, I learned this from my mentor is setting up a simple high converting landing page, guys. And this is what's going to differentiate you. Every other marketing company out there from every other marketing company and you know, businesses who ran it themselves. And I realized that I was like, how 
mind getting awesome results and everyone and they've tried they've been burned in the past right different and this is going to differentiate you from every other marketing company and the reason why you want to have a landing page set in place the difference between a landing page and a website first and foremost is that a website is built for more so general information okay if someone wants to learn more about a business then you can send them to a website they can check your business out what you've done your articles you know your whatever okay your team all that good stuff now if you want to convert paid traffic coming from the internet into new customers leads patients whatever the case may be for your business, you need a landing page, okay? And a high converting one, not just, you know, landing pages that are like, they're just not going to convert, okay? A landing page that's structured a very specific way to convert paid internet traffic into leads for businesses, okay? And this is something that is actually not implemented, but I'd say about 80% businesses, okay? Let me show you an example of that real quick, okay? So let's go defense lower near you as a uh, example because i so here we have you know we have a couple ads here right here we have a landing page looks pretty decent a lot of words though there's a decent landing page there's no really pictures or, or so but like i said about 80 percent of businesses out there are going to send paid traffic to a website okay and this is general information right you can learn more about christian kim you can learn about the reviews you can check out their blogs but this is not going to convert when it comes to paid traffic okay and that is why it's so important to send them to a landing page something like this and if you can send it to something like this this is gonna be a lot higher converting than a website now what is the psychology behind this okay the reason why this is going to do better than this is number one because you can actually see the lawyer you can see what she looks like and her badges this one you don't really he's down here but essentially what's going on is that when people who are searching for something on the internet they have the intention span of about a goldfish which means you have about seven seconds to convert that visitor into a lead for the business and a lead for a business is two things it's either or number one they either call you right and that's a lead or they fill out a contact form which isn't on this website right here it takes about two to three seconds for the website to actually load so now you're down to four to five seconds to get your visitor to do one of the two things either call you or fill out the form right if you're sending it to a website and the visitor is just cl clicking around your website right that is wasting precious time because we like i said we have four to five seconds to convert that lead but if they're clicking around then chances are we're losing that lead and we have paid for that visitor that did not convert into a lead for our business, right? And so that is the basic psychology, a difference between a landing page and a website. And so when you go in there and you're offering the system to businesses, this is gonna differentiate you and set you apart from marketing companies and people who are running ads themselves, All right, So that's high converting landing pages. I'm gonna put a box around this as well. The last system that we need to set up in order to guarantee 4x results for SMA clients is that we need to set up tracking systems, right? So I'll put it right here, tracking systems. Tracking systems need to be implemented. This is another thing that most businesses that I've talked to don't have implemented when they're running you know, ads for their business. And so they're getting phone calls, they're getting leads, or maybe they're not getting leads at all, but let's say they are, they're unable to track that. They don't know where it's coming from. So in order for us to stand out, out, and this is another like selling point here and how we're able to guarantee results is that the cool thing you know working with our agency our marketing agency is that you're able to track and measure everything so everything is trackable and measurable which makes it then predictable because if you can track it and you can measure the results you're able to then predict what the results the outcomes will be in the following month okay and so that way you can start kind of strategizing with your clients and point them in the direction hey if we want to get it if our goal is to get it up to fifty thousand dollars a month or two hundred thousand dollars a month this is what we need to do because here are the numbers here are the stats here's what the performance looks like the cost per lead the cost per click the conversion rate once we have those metrics we can then work with our clients to increase their return on investment and increase their business size so we can track and measure everything right most businesses are flying blind right so a lot of times guys people who are running ads they are flying blind they don't know where the leads are coming from they're not tracking anything they don't know how to scale they don't know how to grow their campaigns and the reason for that is because they're unable to track things right and so we need to be able to track track phone calls right 
attract lead forms, right? And so we have a portal for our clients to log in. They can log in there and they'll be able to see all the phone calls that we generate for them. They can listen in on the calls. They have their dashboards where they can know exactly how much they're spending. Um, we have reports sent out where they know exactly, you know, what their cost per lead are, is. And then that report tells them, hey, this is how we can, you know, take where you're at right now. You know, whatever their goal is, their number that they want to grow to revenue wise, right? So tracking system is a very simple thing. However, most businesses aren't implementing either not doing it correctly or they're not doing it at all. And so these are the three most important systems when it comes to how to guarantee results for your clients, right? You know, when I'm talking to prospects before we onboard them, sometimes I'll throw out the guarantee of we have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not happy for whatever reasons within the first 30 days, we'll happily refund you, right? And it's because we're so confident, we're so dialed in with these systems here. We're running Google ads. We have a high converting landing page set up. We have tracking systems in place for our clients. We set the expectations properly. This is a recipe for success and we can guarantee that. And when we have that guarantee, we are very certain of ourselves and then we are very confident obviously and so the client grows confidence in us and if they see the certainty in you and us and the guarantee they are much 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 more likely to move forward with you okay so people love guarantees and so if you can have a guarantee in place by having these systems dialed in for your own agency you'll be able to offer that guarantee you'll be able to sign not only more clients but you'll be able to retain more clients as well it's a very simple three-step system as you can tell but once implemented, you'll be able to grow to your 10K per month, your six figure, and eventually your seven figure agency. Me and my team to actually help you build the system out, give you the templates for high converting landing page, how to build the tracking systems, and pretty much get your agency off the ground, launch your SMA, get landing your either your first clients, or maybe if you're already an agency owner, and you feel a little stuck and you want to grow, I can personally help you get in there and grow your agency. I'll be able to show you the back end of how my agency, which is doing $60,000 in USD per month, you'll be able to see the back end systems of how we're running things, implement those systems for your agency so that you can scale and grow your business a lot quicker. I'll leave a Calendly link in the description. You can fill out the application and if you're a good fit for us, then we will reach out. We can get in there and help you grow your agency, either launch it or grow it. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys got a lot of value, drop a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as well, always, I'll see you guys in the next video.